Pedro LaFontaine. I've been the footwear and apparel buyer at Compound Gallery for the past six years. I'm a born and raised Portlander, so it's fun working here and being able to see the progression of style and trends that, you know, they have an influence elsewhere, but they also bring their own twist to Portland. Our makeup is totally, I'd say totally different than most streetwear stores around the country. Portland, first and foremost, is the home of Nike, if you haven't heard of that before. Adidas, um, we also have smaller brands, Leaning, Columbia, and then a few more kind of activewear brands too. Our market for footwear has to be a lot more targeted, which it, it can be kind of tough at times because we have to really focus on what we're bringing in. Like, people aren't buying stuff just because it's limited. Yeah, I mean, it's funny, if you were to take a snapshot of like our shoe wall or any shoe wall at any boutique, like from what it looked like in 2005 to 2007 to right now, it's just to total change in vibe and color. It, it went from very vibrant Skittle-like colors to, you know, to very black monotone. And now we're kind of going into, we've been going into a lot of heavy earth tones, burgundies, browns, deep navies are super, super strong. Like, and you know that goes from anything from like the streetwear kids we get to skater kids to even suburban kids. And everybody's kind of trending towards that thing. Our strongest brands by far is our Stussy. Stussy is just amazingly successful for us. It's always been, it's a great partnership that we love carrying and we pick up tons and tons of from them every season. And then the Hundreds, also another West Coast brand, is they do phenomenal for us. Their graphic tees fly out of here, so we're really happy to partner with both those brands. Our biggest uh, East Coast brand is probably 10 Deep. Huge, huge New York brand. Don't have too many toeholds on the West Coast, but they've done pretty well for us. Every sneaker store has its challenges, and luckily, you know, we've been around carrying sneakers since 2003, so we've been carrying sneakers in Portland for eight years now, and we've had a handful of other, uh, other stores come and go. So it's, it, it's kind of nice to be the only store in Portland that's really heavy into the streetwear scene, but it's also kind of a detractor too, because without having other stores also doing the same thing, it becomes less like a culture in the city and more like just a, just a kind of oddity. Originally, Compound was founded as Just Be in 97. Back then, uh, the owner Katsu, he kind of, uh, he did like a lot of vintage wholesaling from Japan to the U.S. And out of that, he kind of grew into the kind of uh, the Japanese toy market and importing those to Portland. And as the store kind of got more successful and grew, he kind of transitioned into uh, this space. And when he got this space, he opened the gallery section, which was called Compound Gallery. People from Nike had asked us if we wanted to uh, open an account that they would have specific to boutiques. So of course we jumped at the opportunity. This past month we had a uh, showcase with Nike's Graphic Studio. And the Graphic Studio basically does any graphic at Nike, from footwear insoles, logos you see on shoes, to just t-shirt graphics as well. So it's pretty cool to get uh, get that section of Nike involved in a show because you know they're so in tune with the graphic element that they you know they do on a day-to-day -day basis and so the show is for uh, Japanese tsunami relief stuff so it's also cool because it's a it's a charity show it's not so much what they do every day on CADs on computer it's just like a lot of its hand done stuff Everything in Compound is kind of just, it's just about the immersion of Japanese culture in, in Portland. And so that goes from anywhere from like vinyl toys that we brought over or now, you know, we carry a lot of kid robot stuff to Japanese candy. And then, you know, shoes and accessories also have heavy Japanese influences. So it, it's just about bringing the whole kind of Japanese pop culture experience to, to a larger market, that one that might not be exposed to it. 